Millions watched in amazement when a supercomputer named Watson beat its human competitors on Jeopardy. Soon, Watson could be working in a doctor's office near you, even helping diagnose and treat patients. Jonathan Cohn writes about Watson's medical future in a new piece for The Atlantic. It's called, I love this title, Jonathan, The Robot Will See You Now. Jonathan, good morning to you. Has it really come to that, The Robot Will See You Now? Should doctors be worried? Well, I, I don't think doctors should be <laughs> worried that uh, robots are going to take their place tomorrow. But I do think... Uh, it's quite possible, even likely, that five years, ten years from now, if you go into the doctor's office, um, the health professional seeing you, whether it's a doctor or a nurse practitioner, is going to have a tablet computer that's offering some kind of what you know the computer people call decision support, mm -hmm. a machine like Watson that can sift through a lot of information, provide them help deciding you know, what kind of treatment to give you, what disease you really have, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. This can only be good news, right? Well, you know, like any innovation, <laughs> they could be good news, it could be bad news. So, I think the upside is pretty high, though. What's the because, downside? Well, you know, the downside is we think of technology like this. We think, gosh, this could be, create all sorts of efficiencies, right? It could prevent us from having wasteful treatments, you know, giving people duplicate, duplicating tests time and time again. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when we get more information, we actually use that information and we end up having more health care. Um, you know, they did a study once where they uh, gave doctors access, uh, immediate access to test results. And the idea was this would improve, you know, doctors would know more about your condition. They would get the, the treatment right. So what ended up happening? The doctors ordered more treatments, mm -hmm. uh, more tests. Mm -hmm. And that actually drove up health care costs. So there's always a good side and a bad side. So doctors are already using their smartphones um, to look up different medications and interactions. What's different about this? What's different about Watson? So Watson, and, and you know, I'm sure there will be other machines like it. Uh, Watson, first of all, is it's very fast. It's just an incredibly sophisticated computer. But it also has the ability to do what the computer geeks call read natural uh, language. In other words, it can understand spoken English. It doesn't have to just get zeros and ones. Um, it can read journal articles. And that's really the potential here is to, for Watson to be able to survey all the medical literature and say, hey, this is what's out there. You may not know this. Mm -hmm. You may not, you know, have that information. But so much to me in dealing with a doctor is the emotion, the face-to-face -face connection, looking he, him or her in the eye and getting an understanding that they feel you and understand you. Right. Well, I think How can that, Watson do that? Well, Watson can't do that, and that's why it's, I think it will never replace the doctor. My father's a physician, actually. And what I did told, your dad say? Well, he looked at me and he said, yeah, that's right, because all I do is, uh, yes. all, all I am is a big algorithm machine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we do have a doctor shortage coming. We're going to need to arm more professionals with the ability to see us. And one thing this technology can do is it can say, look, instead of just relying on doctors, you can have teams of professionals. Mm -hmm all of whom don't have a full medical degree, but using this technology, they can work together. So he adds to, he, we call it a he. Well, yeah. So he, it, she adds to a doctor's experience. Yeah, that think. was exactly what I, point yeah. I was trying to make earlier. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's right. the upside. Yes, no, and in fact, the people at IBM are always very careful to say, look, we're not trying to replace mm -hmm. doctors. <laughs> right. This is a tool for the doctor and other health professionals. All right, John. Thanks. Thank you very much.